Hey BookTube, here I am again with a kind of review um, on a couple books I've read in the last few days. Um, Tropic of Cancer by Henry Miller and um, uh, Hunger by Knut. I think it's just Newt, but um, Zoe says it's like Knut. Um, Hamson, I think is his name. Could be wrong. Um, both books were kind of, uh, like Tropic of Cancer was banned in America for a long time. And when it was finally published, I think in the sixties, there was a, um, obscenity charge against it. And, um, it ended up winning as a piece of fine art. And um, it's shocking, to say the least. I read, I couldn't believe what I was reading, so I read Zoe, like, this bit in the first chapter. And she was shocked, and I should have been arrested. But as dirty as it was... Because I'm all up for a dirty book. Not like a straight up like romance. But like I like some like transgressive self-deprecating sex humor. You know. Um, that's always fun. But I don't know what it was. Because like if you stack this book up against like anything Bukowski wrote or um what's some other kind of smutty stuff I've read lately I don't know I can't really think off the top of my head it just lacked a certain charm and I don't know if it's because uh Henry Chaninsky necessarily is like super down and out and all that stuff it just, it takes place in Paris, and it just never really feels like he's hard up. Like, there's times when it says that he's hard up, but I don't, like, believe it. Like, there, I don't know, there's something about how it's written that just has this... <sighs> attitude and maybe it was just the people that the main character was staying with for most of the time but it just felt a little like there wasn't a connection like there is with Bukowski um so if you like some dirty talk you know and um some kind of humorous sexual innuendos and situations definitely give it a read i mean just for like historical value um just because of like if it wasn't for that book a lot of other books might not have been written kind of thing um i'd take a look at it uh it's not the best like i think i for those of you who like stars i think i gave it like two stars it wasn't bad. I just it, I, I just didn't connect with it. Whereas the hunger, or not the hunger, that's David Bowie. Um, but hunger um, is very. It's a very odd book. It takes place, uh, or it was written bef like in the late eighteen hundreds, and this guy Newt or Canut or whatever, um, he ends up winning the Pulitzer a few years later with, um, what book was it that won? It had a couple words in the title, I think. Um, it wasn't Mysteries, I don't think, I think it was something else. Anyway, um, it's about a struggling writer who is... He's kind of nuts. Like, this book was odd because 
he makes decisions and because it's told in first person, he makes decisions that make you kind of want to slap him and say, what the fuck is wrong with you? Like, there are people in my family that he reminds me of where like, he's like broke as shit, but he'll like give his waistcoat to some kid on the street because he thinks that she needs it. <clears throat> but I don't think it's because he thinks she needs it. I think it's because he doesn't want to be seen as poor. You know? Or like, he'll just give somebody... Like, if he only has like ten bucks, he'll give nine bucks to a friend on a loan, knowing he won't get it back, just so it looks like he has money. And, um, it's just like everything he does, he kind of shoots himself in the foot, you know? And then as it goes, it's almost as if the narration is, um, what do you call it when you, um, can't trust your narrator? Well, I just said it. Um, an unreliable narrator. And it it's just that... It's not that the book itself was super interesting. It was that... Constantly wondering if what's happening is what really was happening... Is what makes this book interesting. Um, I wasn't a fan of the end. Um... And I don't know if this is what like most people do, but I think writers probably do this, where they'll be reading a book and they kind of could plot it out in their head how it's going to go. And I thought this was going to have like a much more, a much more tragic turn of events, and um, it didn't. And it it's not that the ending left me like, wanting more, or left me, um, yeah, I guess it kind of did feel, I just, I didn't like, um, the end, I won't spoil it any further than that, um, I wanted to see something different, um, but there's, uh, there's definitely some great scenes in the book, and because it takes place in Oslo, um, there were some things that, and it takes place like over a hundred years ago. There are some things that happen that I was like, oh wow, they do that there? Like, that's kind of cool. Like, I wish they would do something like that here kind of thing. Um, there were things like that, that just because for those of you who like reading books that are, um, different culturally that make you feel or that teach you something about a culture. But then again, it's over a hundred years ago. So I don't know if they really do those things anymore or if that was just something they did at the time. But, um, you definitely feel for this guy, but at the same time you want to shake him and say, what the fuck is wrong with you? Like it would be so easy for you to fix your life and all you have to do is are these simple things, but you're making it super harder on yourself. So I definitely like this one for you star people out there. I gave three stars to, and then um, a day went by and I couldn't stop thinking about it. So I gave it another one because it obviously left an impression on me, you know, um, so out of the two, I think Hunger is the stronger book. Um, and out of, like, if I were to throw the Fonte in here too, um, what, what's it called? Ask the Dust. I think Ask the Dust is better than Hunger. So, um, definitely check those out. Um, if you haven't, if you don't remember or didn't see me talking about Ask the Dust, definitely go back and look at that because, um, or just go get the book by John Fonty. It's, um, I couldn't, I, 
I wasn't expecting a lot, and um, I got a lot in return, I guess, is the best way to say it. So, um, let me know if you've read these books, what you think of them. Um, after reading Hunger, I was so... I did something that I hardly ever do, and that's read people's reviews on it, because... I didn't know how to feel about it right after I read it. And I always want to do like hot takes on books right after I read them. And, um, I just, I didn't know how I felt about it. And I read, um, a lot of people's reviews and they were talking about the, <clears throat> um, like the dry humor or the, the, um, black humor or, and, like, I didn't really get that. Like, it was more of a tragedy to me than um, something that could be, like, lighthearted. Like, there were some things where I, was I like, chuckled, but it wasn't like, ooh, that's funny. Um, it just was like, you, f you feel for the guy. So, anyway, um, check those out, and... I will see you on the flippity flip.